can be presented to us. Is it not presented to somebody? Is somebody going to talk about this? Our city manager is going to talk to us about this resolution. The mayor and commissioners, we're bringing back a resolution from the conversation that we started I think about a month ago. Commissioner Moore asked us to do some research. Last week we brought forward some details and then we were asked to, or directed to provide a resolution, so we're bringing that forward today. After you take public comment, Jamie will read the full resolution. This resolution put forward language on the November ballot that would allow citizens in Shelton an opportunity to determine whether or not the commission form of government should be changed to a council in Shelton. And that is what is in front of you today. There is one update from when we spoke last week in looking at deadlines. We do need to note that the Secretary of State's office pretty clearly uh, states that an August 1st deadline for a resolution is actually what the deadline that we need to meet if this is to move forward. So last week I told you it was August 15th, and in the last week we learned that it's actually August 1st. So is Jamie going to read the resolution now? Can or do, do we have public comment? We can read it before. first. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is uh, something that we are, it's an action item, so we welcome comments from the public on this at this time. So do we have anybody signed in? We do. Kevin Dorsey. Good evening. I have uh, been here a long time, and I don't, I, we've always had a commission as far as I know, and I don't see the reason for rushing this thing in right now. Um, our city is already a bunch of money in debt, and I believe that bringing seven people on board that can't seem to agree on much of anything, maybe, it's just going to compound the problem. We've already heard that uh, um, when some, some of the commission believes that um, we can't seem to get communicate with the citizens now and whose fault is that right I mean the county does it they have 50,000 60,000 I think we have 10 we should be able to do that especially with today's technology but what I'm most concerned about is not not even if there's any money change which I don't know there's going to be much of a difference in money but what I'm most concerned about is a three-person commission is transparent everything is out in the open and in a public venue the public is always invited that's the way it should be with a council you can have three people out of the seven meet behind private doors and then out of those three you can go get one or two of the other four and go meet behind closed doors and discuss how you're going to spend taxpayers money and that makes me nervous all right and I, I just want the public to know the details the pros and cons of, of it all before it goes to vote. I would really like to see, I'm urging you to slow this truck down and let the people know what they're going to be voting on. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. <laughs> Mike Olson. Uh, two years ago, <clears throat> I ran for re-election. I'm a former city commissioner. Uh, I ran for re-election against uh, Kathy McDowell. 
at that time, one of my platforms was this very thing, was to change from a, a commission form of government to a council. And since that time, uh, a small group of citizens, including myself, have, have kept up on research and been pursuing this. And I'm glad to see that uh, it's finally here again. Uh, I'd like to touch on a couple of points to support this move. Uh, one is that we are the only city remaining in the state of Washington, uh, 250 some cities, that still use this form of government. Uh, while I was a commissioner, I would, I would attend the same uh, functions you guys would and talk to other counselors and, although you're from Shelton, you're the only form of commission government, they would say, why do you hold on to that? I didn't have an answer. And then, then I would ask them why they changed and two reasons they would say. One is financial and the other was citizen involvement. Let me touch on the financial part first. Currently in the city budget, the three of you are budgeted $51,000 for health benefits. You get full coverage insurance. On top of that, you also get $25,000 each per year. That's $75,000. Total of about $125,000 out of the general fund. If we go to a council form of government, we would have seven members. In my research and amongst other people that research this, the top pay is usually around four or $500 a month per person which would be about $42,000 a year. This is a savings of over $90,000 that would supply almost one more policeman out of the general fund. If you guys don't vote this tonight, we the citizens have until August 1st, August 1st to petition to get this on the ballot. We need 10% of the last general municipal election, which is about 150 votes. Tomorrow morning we will start this process and we will pursue it vigorously. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the votes to let the people decide this if you guys don't do this tonight. I urge you to follow through with what I heard all three of you always say. Oh, we always, we represent the citizens. We're all about the citizens. Let the citizens speak. Well, now's your chance to let the citizens speak. Let the citizens decide on this not three people. That's the very reason that we're trying to move away from this form of government. We don't get enough citizen involvement out there. We need more citizens. If there's seven people here, you're going to get a lot more walk of life people involved in our city government. And I think that's what drives away a lot of people, especially the younger people. I would love to see some younger commissioners up here, council people. I think it's time for us to move past this three commission form of government and, and come into the, you know, a, a better re citizen's representation. And you know, must be done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's a nice bell. That's nice. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor, Commissioners. I'm here tonight uh, as a previous uh, business owner in Shelton and I currently own com commercial property. I may be coming to, to you guys a little bit late in the game if we're trying to meet a deadline, but I'd really like to have some consideration for those um, business owners and commercial property owners who live outside the city <coughs> and cannot vote. I do I do agree with en enlarging the number of members making a decision on the uh, uh, commission as a council manager commission. I, I think that's a great idea. We've seen uh, the pendulum swing both ways, but never with an even keel. So I appreciate the fact that you're looking at that. But I do, would, or I would like to encourage that we maybe add something to save a few dollars on our voting costs. Uh, that we ask for consideration in the district, and I don't even know if it's legal, if, if we can do it by law. From what I've scanned, you can kind of set your districts and whatnot. But eventually to have the property owners, the commercial property owners and business owners, because you have an impact on the economic development of the city, those business owners and property owners have an impact as well. And it would just, help us work together and give them a voice as to how the commission moves along in the city. Um, I guess that's it. I appreciate you. your consideration. Thank you for your comments. 
Eric, Eric Anisco, Christy Court, Shelton. Um, I'm not sure what the rush is on this, but I'm a little concerned about picking the mail, mayor, I'm sorry, the council form of government. We have three other choices. We have a mayor council or a council manager, weak mayor, strong mayor, mayor council. There are 52 cities with council managers, and that's what we've chosen. There's 228 with mayor council. I'm not sure why we're not looking at that before we put it to the people. If we're doing this for the people, let's let the people decide what we do. And that's really it. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. <clears throat> I don't know how we figured that. Who came up with that idea? So that was, that was the resolution that was requested. and That it was a council form? Correct. Yeah. And that was also the one that was recommended by our attorney as the closest match to what we have currently. Okay. I'm just curious. All right. So we've heard from the public, and now is an opportunity for us to speak. Is there anybody that has some comments on this? I do. <clears throat> my, can I go now? Well, I, I got you shook up my, my method here. Oh, I'm usually, sorry. I you usually go to the left. Yeah, no, so. no, let Kathy go first. Oh, okay. Right. Um, I wrote this down, my spiel. I write it down so I don't forget what I'm going to say. So I'm going to kind of read this, but I'm going to speak also. Um, I'm very, very interested in how the voters feel about this process that we're going through. Um, we three commissioners, we work for the citizens, and so I feel it's very important to bring this forward and let the citizens decide. But I'm not comfortable with rushing this onto the ballot. Um, I don't know if enough people in Shelton would even know what they're voting for if the ballot came out and says you vote you want commission or you want council and see the amount of people in this room tonight um, are the amount of people that probably know what's going on um, but I'm not saying that for sure I'm not saying that the citizens don't know but I feel that it needs to be given some more time um, I've heard interest in moving to a seven-person council from uh, a commission from a very few select, which makes me question if it is a good use of city funds. I would encourage citizens who feel a seven-person council is in the city's best interest to sign a petition to place it on the ballot. My decision tonight is my decision alone. No one influenced me. No one talked me into it. It's what I have gotten from some of the citizens that I've talked to. Um, I've talked to individuals in this matter, and they're not swaying me either way. So I just want to make it clear that this is my decision tonight, that I feel that we're rushing into it a little bit quickly. And the citizens may not know how to vote when it comes November 7th. Thank you. All right, any more questions or comments? Yes, I do have. Um, number one is I would say this isn't really a rush. Every time there's a, an election, we hear this um, discussed. And definitely every time we go to a statewide meeting, we hear it discussed. Um, the, we have this would be going on to the November ballot, not the August ballot. So there would be quite a bit of time to inform everyone as to what they would actually be voting on. And as far as the budget, we do have in the budget this year for an election, and we do have in the budget which would be required for a special election for the additional members next year. So we are set up. It's not going to cost an additional amount of money for that. I believe we have plenty of time to educate the, the voters. Um, I, I don't feel like it's a rush at all. I can't believe that you two are not hearing the same thing I am, is that people are tired of a three-person commission. And my question would be, um, the same as it was, um, um, Mayor, you argued against putting the Transportation Benefit District on the ballot because you didn't feel like the people would vote for it. Well, I say let them choose. I don't understand why you would not have the faith in our community to let them choose 
And so I am very, very much in favor of letting our citizens decide what form of government they want. I'm hearing more and more that they're um, not feeling truly represented by the fact that we are so insular. We have similar backgrounds, we have similar lifestyles, and um, a lot of people don't feel that they're represented. And so I feel very strongly about this. Okay, well, first is, let me answer your questions to me about faith in our community. I have a lot of faith in our community. And I work every single day as hard as I can for the citizens of this community. And when I do that, I think about the priorities. And I think about the priorities that our citizens are concerned with. And not one person, not one person, other than a government employee, has come up to me, not one of our ratepayers has come up to me and says, you know, this is a high priority in my life. I really, I go to bed at night and I dream about a seven-person commission. The only people I've heard it from are just a handful of people. And I did have a prepared statement for the media. I wrote this in... 15 minutes, and so if media wants to know what I think about it, it's here, and it's here, and I'll read that prepared statement. I want to save these people some money, and I want to get the city moving, and we have, and we are. I feel this resolution is being brought forward at the wrong time. Less than two weeks before an election, without all the information we commissioners need in order to make an informed decision. We are being asked to put something on a ballot in November that could change the way Shelton has done business for over 100 years by a small special interest group who has not even gathered 300 signatures for support. How much would it cost the city to put this on the ballot or pay for the seven person council? We really have no idea. We have different people that tell us how much, but in my communication, it's, there's nothing, we've not done this before, so there's really no way to tell. Why not first have a simple survey of our ratepayers to see if this is even on their priority list? That would be, I think, a wonderful thing to do. I'm still waiting to hear from the PDC if this is even legal. And as now, I have not even heard back on that question. So do I think it's rushed? I think so. And if I was to add more questions, if I had another 15 minutes, I could add six more questions onto this. So here's my prepared statement, and I am prepared tonight not to support this resolution. So my question is, why are you afraid to put it on the ballot? Why do you not choose to let our citizens decide? If they don't want it, they'll vote no. I'm There's, not, it's not going to cost any more money. Let me answer one of those at a time. I'm not afraid. Intimidation does, is not my motivating factor. I think that if you truly want this, that you can easily collect those signatures and you can easily put it on the ballot. I mean, that's all I'm saying. And it, we don't have to vote or do anything. So I am definitely for the citizens. I'm for this community. And I want to see the community vote in. I don't want to see anything circumventing the will of the people, not two weeks before, less than two weeks before an election. This is rushed, and this has not answered all these questions, and I have more. So if I just found out tonight a little element of this, I thought we were just putting on a change of government, but basically, if I just found out tonight that we had already picked a way to do this, which slipped through the cracks, then what are we going to expect the voters out there to know within one and a half weeks or whatever it is? So I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid especially of, uh, of letting the people decide. I gave a suggestion. Let's, let's have, this won't cost hardly anything. Let's put it on a survey and see if it fits into the priority list of the citizens. Because I think I work for the priority list of the citizens. Or the rate payers, as you describe yeah. them. Yes. So, I mean, I... I 
got elected mayor to give my opinion, and I am not afraid of my opinion. And I believe that we have a community that's moving forward, and I want to continue that. And we have an election, and that's what we need to do is have the people decide. So, so you want the people to decide, but you don't want to um, make it easier for them to decide. They don't know what's going on. Look at, we got, what, five people from the audience here, other than staff. I mean, if this was a priority, I would think there would be a lot more people here. If it was, we're gonna lower your sewer rates, and we think that's a good idea, I guarantee you this house would be full. I don't know, we've had that discussion with less people than this in the audience. Well, and we all got different opinions, that's why people vote us in. I'm glad that we have different opinions. So, we have a resolution. It appears that we feel it might be a little bit rushed at this time. I will still like to make the motion. Thank you. Oh, no, you can make the motion. Okay. I move that we approve resolution 1103-0717 to allow the citizens of Shelton to decide if they would like to reform this form of government from a commission form to a council manager form, which would allow more representation for the citizens of Shelton. Okay, there's a motion. If we have a second, we will vote. If this motion does not have a second, it will die for lack of second. So, is there a second on the motion? Is there a second on the motion? Not to second it, thank you. There is no second on at the motion. At this point, at this point. There is no second on the motion. The motion dies for lack of a second. Thank you.